Generic greetings and welcome to Beverage Plus FTL once again. Today's beverage is... Mm. Ugh, that's actually not very nice. That's um, a drink called Galaxy Aid. I think it's supposed to be a ripoff of Gatorade because it's like a horrible fluorescent yellowy colour. Like fluorescent yellowy greeny colour thing. I don't know. It's some sort of Martian blood or something. I don't really know what Galaxy Aid is supposed to be, but it tastes like turpentine and farts. But it's about three litres for 40 pence, so let's just roll with it. Anyway, let's go to new game, and I'm going to probably try the Mantis Cruiser on this one. My favourite ship at the moment is actually the Type C Federation cruiser because it has a flak artillery which fires out, well, a big lump of shite out the front basically, like ejecting all of the garbage that you've collected and wrecks the shields. But they also have a teleporter and a clone base so you can just keep min just basically meat grinding your mantis constantly and taking the opponent out that way. But uh, I am trying to unlock this here, the slug cruiser. As you can see, I've only got the slug cruiser and the unidentified cruiser which I know or from past experience is the crystal ship but uh, I'm trying to unlock the slug cruiser so we're going to use the mantis I've only got the first layout I've only got one of the achievements for it as well or one of the unlocks rather what the other ones kill five enemy crew in a fight without taking any hull damage or losing a crew member that's pretty difficult while using the mantis cruiser kill the last enemy with your last crew member that'll be even more difficult anyway let's rename it and we will call it probably um, Excalibur because I like that name. Right, uh, we're going to go on easy because I cannot do it anything. Uh, easy is, yeah, it's possible. I've won it twice out of 100 and odd games. So I think 180 odd games, I've only won it twice and both on easy. I have tried hard and um, I really wanted to just hang myself afterwards. That's not correct, but you get the idea. I'm, I wasn't fussed on it is what I'm trying to point out. Anyway, we're going to move some Mantis men around. What we're going to be doing is just assaulting the opponent's ship. So we're going to save the crew locations. This is obviously the enhanced or advanced edition. I can't remember what you call it now. The stuff with all of the new things in it. So let's just jump to oh, let's go to a nebula. Have a bit of an explorate. And that was a bad plan because we've now encountered a ship and we're already on half uh, half energy. So we're just going to teleport across there. And as long as we have... There we go. We're taking them out now. Hopefully that guy will be half health. Yeah, that guy's half health before his friend come along to help him. What I need to do is really put my shield up. So I'm going to turn the O2 off and turn the shield on. Actually, there's no point because he has only got... Oh no, he does have a missile launcher and another gun, but he'll be in the same situation, situation as I am. So he will have half power. So you know what? He's firing the missile. There's no point in shields because that penetrates it anyway, so we'll not bother. What I'm going to do, though, is use this bomb and take out his guns, like so. So now he can't shoot at me. Uh, I think that's the last shot he's going to take because I am taking him out. Let me just bring that Mantis Man out of there. Get the entire set back up. There we go. So now that guy's, you know, got inside the jab and working the body. And there we go. We've destroyed everybody or we've killed everybody on there with my Mantis Men. No more life signs. We've got one... Uh, one, one missile, one drone part, and 30 scrap. Let's continue. We're going to beam them guys back. There we go. And we'll put them in the med bay. Turn off that. Turn the oxygen back on. Put a little bit of energy into the engine so we can actually start... Oh, sorting our FTL out. It is actually sorted. And we'll wait until... Can you hear fire? I can hear fire. Let's have a quick look. I reckon it'll be in here. It is in there. So we'll just turn around. We'll just open that as well. Let me just have a quick look because I think it hit the other one hit around here. And no, mm. can't see any fire. Let me return everybody to the ship. There we go. Oh, there it is. It's raging in there. Okay, that's fine. Let's just send everybody there, and we will sort that out. I should have noticed that actually. But yes, there we go. That's pretty much sorted. We will close them up and send everybody back. Actually, no, we'll send everybody to the med bay, I think. Because as you can see, they are a little bit damaged from probably lack of oxygen and putting out the fire and such. And move them guys in there and fill them back up. FTL has been something I've been hitting quite hard recently. I did it as soon as the sort of uh, the patch came out. I did try it a little bit and spent maybe three or four hours on it. I thought, yeah, that's, that's not bad. That's okay. And then for whatever reason, the other day... I just thought, I'm going to give it another go, and I've probably played about 12 hours in 48, so, <laughs> yeah, I've uh, been hitting it quite hard. A scanner's showing intelligent life, let's investigate it. Land a small shuttle, and we've got six-legged horse-like animals, ah, these things. Let's try and communicate peacefully. Uh, they're just kind of, they're not really doing anything. Nah, we'll just jump away then. Obviously, there is new 
uh, new events, new things to explore, new things to find, new systems, etc. Ah, uh, here we go. An unidentified ship is badly damaged, and these want to bribe me so they can shoot them. No, try and be the hero, attack the pirate, and we will beam aboard to their weapons bay, like so, because I know nobody will be there, and now we're going to get two rock crewmen. That's not good, because the rock crewmen, what I'm going to do is turn the bomb on, turn the shields on, and there we go. Tactically, <laughs> tactically turning the shield off, so we wait until them to fire that first, then put it back on, and, oh well, it doesn't matter that we're targeting the shields anyway. Right, this is problematic. Target there, and run away! There we go, so there's their weapons off, and now we're going to beam our guys back on board, and up to here. Yeah, if you turn, you can tactically turn the, the shields on and off, so that the... <laughs> If they're not targeting the actual shield system, they'll end up shooting and not hitting the shield. Because if that if that ion shot hits the shield, it will it will start you know the cooldown on it. It will ionize it or whatever it does. Let me spin back across and we'll take these guys out. There's one of them gone, and this will be the last rock crew member. So yeah, you can micromanage it a little bit. There we go. So uh, upon close inspection, you realize the ship under attack was a rebel scout. It's too damaged to be. Put out, uh, put out much of a fight so we can destroy the ship and salvage it or use leverage again by saving their lives to convince them to delay the pursuing fleet. We're going to destroy the ship and salvage it because I, you know, I don't really, well, I'd rather get the scrap to be honest with you. Bit cold hearted, but uh, we have to play hardball in some cases. We did the right thing by uh, trying to stop a pirate, but when it comes to the rebels, now they're our mortal enemy. And there's a just dist just distress signal over there. Do you want to go back? That's quite a ways back. If I go there, and then I'm gonna have to work my way up. No, sorry, I'm gonna have to ignore them. Hmm. Let's jump to the next sector. We will. Oh, we got another pirate. We'll attack the pirate. As you noticed, or you might you you may have noticed, I can't actually see what's on their ship. That is because. I do not have any sensors. Look, the subsystems doesn't exist for these. Not there at all. Right, what we're gonna do? We're gonna take these out. There's one and gone, and we should be able to kill the other one. Whoa, what's happened there? Looks like one of my guys actually died. How did that happen? It seems like one of the guys sort of not blew up. Yeah, it looked like he sort of blew up when we when we killed him. I think it was a Zoltan or something. And when they died, they, I think they released energy or something. I don't know what happened there because he was a, he was over. He was, what, just under half health. Uh, so we've only got one assault team now. Anyway, let's put everybody back to the main area there. We're going to shove this guy in the med bay. Let's have a quick look on the jump. There is no shop around us. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to probably increase our teleport and the shields I think we can manage to get there. There we go. So we can increase our shields and we can turn off the bay as well, the, the medical bay. I'm more of a fan of using the clone bay and literally just meat grinding into the enemy ship. However, that does, if I'm honest with you, sort of break the game. It's it's very easy to do and once you narrow it down, it's um, yeah, it, it's quite easy. Anyway, overhead their conversation. Uh, the hmm, I've got a blue option here. Teleport on board their ship. Uh, you scan the ship, it appears you could help bandits made off with some very important cargo. Let's agree to capture the ship and we've got a quest marker. I'm sort of briefly skipping through all these obviously because if I had to read them out all of the time we would, uh, well this video would be very 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 long. It's probably already long as it is but there you go. So let's keep jumping down. Oh this is not good. Hmm. This is not good at all. What this this is a ver this is a very big problem for us because they don't have any atmosphere on that ship because that is after all a sort of unmanned scout. So I can't really beam my guy aboard because they will die. So that's problematic. However, they're not going to be able to kill me because as you can see, they've got a beam drone and one beam on the ship. So it's literally a case of waiting for my my <laughs> my jump engine to recharge and then I'm just going to spool it up and jump out of here. We're about to get hit by the sun. Here we go. And Bosh. It's obviously hit there because you can see there's it's already taken it out, so we'll just try and put that fire out there while still spooling the engine up. I mean obviously they're not gonna hurt us or anything like that because they've only got the beam weapons and they can't get through the shield. It's a bit of a weird setup. That would be really dangerous in an asteroid field. In an asteroid field, that would be unbelievably difficult to to defeat because they, they would get two beams on us and obviously we'd be getting knackered. There's the there's the sun about to fire or flare and we've just jumped away there. So we now have, oh god, another automated uh, scout. I'm going to avoid the conflict sadly because I can't take it out and I'm just going to run away. I do have the basic laser but it'll take forever. So 
It's, uh, you're not sure why, but they stress that it is great importance that you kill the crew without destroying their ship. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring that Mantis there. So we, just, we still have a two-man assault team. Let's power up our S-bomb, and we're going to beam aboard the, the front there. There's an NG crew, which is good, so we've already t a quarter health them. Looks like they're going to be able to take our shields down and nothing more. They can't do anything else. They, they've, they've only got two guns. I've got two shields. That's it. They can't take my shields down. So it's just a case of beating the crap out of the crew. And there we go. You skew the ship and wait for the merchants to arrive. Upon arrival, message you, good job. We would prefer if you did not speak this to anyone. No problem at all. But they give us an ion blast too, which is quite good. Let me just beam them guys back aboard. Shove them in the medical bay. And we'll get them healed up. I might actually save the location. I think we'll have our NG guy flying the ship. I think that'll probably be best because then we still have two Mantis Assault Team. Two Man Mantis Assault Team is where we go that for. Okay, save that and we need to jump back up to there. One, two, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. There, that'll be one, two, three, four. That is going to be there by the time we get there. So I might as well go there because it's still the same amount of jumps and I also explore new locations. Let's go looking for the rebel ship because it's going to be interesting to fight. Right, so let's beam aboard the ship there and hopefully take out their crew. That guy will be half health before reinforcements arrive. There we go. It's really quick, this whole fight here. And I, again, they, they can't do anything. They can't take my shields down. There's nothing they can do about that. That shields can't go down. I am, however, going to target their O2, I think. And then I'm going to beam back aboard after I've... I'm going to be able to kill this guy. Yeah, that guy's being killed. Them guys will probably be in there. Now, let's beam back aboard. So I've got the O2 out. Obviously, they do have a medical bay, which is problematic. Let me just... I really want to... Do I want to spool the drive up? Nah, I don't need to spool up any faster than it already is going. So we'll just wait to heal up here. I'm going to charge back in. Okay. Waiting for this teleporter, and we will teleport across to the front there, and we're going to use our bomb to target this, which is their med bay. But I'll only do it once they run out and try and heal themselves, <laughs> because then I'll actually kill them with the bomb. You know, two birds, one stone. So there's one guy in there. Second one here. Bang! So that's damaged the medical bay and oh, them as well and we've taken that about there we go and we'll beam back and medical up this is why i really like the assault method like, ftl just gives you it's, you get a lot of game for your money and it's not a case of saying oh you get a lot of game but it's sort of samey type content it's not it's interesting you can try different tactics and different ways of doing things this is like a really good assault ship anyway let's just keep heading there i don't think i'll get the exit in time before the rebels turn up that's problematic but you know we'll see Looks like they keep flinging the same sort of thing at me. These guys have not got a medical bay, so I'm just going to be slugging it out there, and they've gone for two lasers on their ship. One, well, two beams, a beam drawn and a beam over there. So again, I'm not going to waste my bomb. That's an S-bomb, I'm not going to waste that. And there's two of their crew gone. The third one will come in now, and we should be able to take him out without having any casualties, I believe. Yeah, that guy's going to go. And there we go, we dropped him. So we'll just teleport back. And back to the healing bay. We'll go to jump and check. No, there is no... Uh, looks like we've got a problem here. We've got no store around. So I have an option. For a start, I'm going to get some more power so I can always keep the drive full spooled. And I don't have to turn off the medical bay because that's something that I pretty much use all the time. Anyway, we're going to jump to there. And then, obviously, our last location will be to the exit, which will be inside the <laughs> intrusion zone, if, as it were. Right, here we go. This is a slug cruiser of some kind. Oh, no, a Zoltan? Or is it slug? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to teleport back at the engine, I think, because I don't think anyone will be there, and it'll get people running. There we go. Looks like we've got a mantis and a human, so I should be able to take the human out first, then be able to double-team the mantis. Hmm. Looks like they have an ion and some sort of pulse weapon. That's okay. I've also got on my assault team just better skills. If I have a quick look at their skills, we've got almost... Well, that guy, Davon, is, as you can see, fairly good. It's 10% more crew damage. Okay, and this guy is... Uh, he hasn't even increased his combat skill, but it's getting up there. But Davon is a machine. <laughs> anyway, let's just... Actually, he's a mantis, so he's, you know... Not, not a machine at all. Unless it's a biomechanical mantis. Then he's part machine, part 
Mantis, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, these guys are going to try and beam on board my ship. There we go. And they are attacking the... They're attacking back there. Okay, that's fine. So I'm just going to run back with these two guys and take him out. They'll probably teleport him back. That's problematic because this is going to hurt. There's a scrap cannon. I've just blown their weapons up and I've managed to take them out. Okay, so they're now taken out. Let's just heal back up. That's another scrap bomb. I'm just going to keep targeting their weapons. Oh, they missed. There we go. There's their weapons taken out. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to beam on board the same area and try and attack this guy because he is almost dead. We will obviously target the medical bay and then I will charge in. Does it hit it? It does. Charge in and take him out. There's one guy gone and we'll keep assaulting here and there they are. All gone. And obviously I don't get any scrap from it because this is just the, this is just their fleet thing, sadly. But I do get, I did get a fuel, which is quite good, and we can use that to just, just pour that in the drive. I don't know what fuel it would be. Mm, maybe space chickens or something like that. Who knows? Or Gatorade. Right, Uncharted Nebula on Uncharted Nebula. Tough choice, tough choice. I think we'll go to the Uncharted Nebula. There we go. So, we will jump to the store after we've been to another location, just to get a bit more scrap, hopefully. And lock on the life signs with a teleporter. We have found another person. Ooh, Eon. Uh, or Eowyn, something like that. Anyway, we're going to put him in the shields because we do have good shields. I think we will head over there and then back to the store and then jump away. Yeah, it's probably the best idea. And nothing here. Right. Finally, we're going to the store now. And we'll see what we can get. So we'll have a little chat. They have cloaking, they have hacking, and they have the backup battery. Uh, page two, they have eye bomb. It's an ion bomb. They have small bombs. And they have burst lasers. The burst laser would be quite good. Because one of my biggest problems is that I cannot... Oh, actually, let's fully repair this shit before we start. The problem I have is that... If I need to teleport, I can't really do it because I... If, if I need to teleport through a Zoltan shield, with the, advan the sort of advanced hardened shields, I can't do it. What I might do then is sell my Ion Blast. Do I want to do that? It's got a charge time of 4 seconds, which is good. I think I will probably sell the Burst Laser, keep the Ion Blast. Oh, we've also got Mantis Pheromones, which is the augmentation, so we go 25% faster, which is quite good. Ion Blast 2, uh, power powers 3 and charge time of 4 seconds, shot for charge 1. So we are probably best... Do I want to get cloaking? Well, I do, but I haven't got the points for it. Drone recover round, we're not going to use drones, although we could get hacking. We could get hacking. Hacking might be an option. I mean, it definitely is an option, I understand, but... If we get that... Do we want to do that? No, let's keep let's keep the points for now. Let's just improve our assaulting method. I could get another crew and help repair. Yeah, I think we'll do that. I think that's going to be the best option. Shove that guy in the engine. There we go. So we get a better dodge chance. Although we could, could put him in the gun. Which reduces our S-bomb time. I think, however, increasing... I think... Probably putting him in... There. Putting him in the weapon system, perhaps? I don't know. I'll have a think. Put him in the engine for now, because we get always we always get that ch uh, dodge chance. Right, let's keep going. So, our, our evade chance, not dodge chance, rather. Evade is 20%. Excellent. And now we're versing a... One of these horrible scouts again, which is not good. And I have nothing to take him out with, so it's literally just spool the drive up, to be honest with you. I'll just lie back and have a sip of beverage while we do it. It's like sort of fizzy iodine or something. Or other. It's horrible. It's actually changing colour. Honestly, I think if I left this, this horrible stuff overnight, the cup would squelch off somewhere or give me light conversation in the morning. It's quite nice, though. Yeah, then it's got a horrible aftertaste. I don't know. I'm, I'm in two minds about this stuff. Hmm. Right, anyway. It's jumped away. And that's going to be a bit of a problem because, as you can see, Fleet uh, Pursuit uh, has doubled. But we're just going to run to the end, to be honest with you. And then the next one, I believe, is the civilian sector. So, this guy, blah, 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 Mantises. There won't be a next time. Let's attack him. So, 
Let's get our Mantis across there and attack their Mantis. Looks like they have a couple of them, actually. Looks like there's, de well, there's definitely a third guy in this place. I know that. I've just noticed it. They can't really take my shields out. And I am killing them, but the problem is they're going to kill me just as fast. However, I don't have a choice here. They're going to kill me on this one. I think I've messed up. Just run. Just absolutely feckin' leg it to there. Fire on the O2. Keep running. And I've just blown my own mantis up. I thought that might be a problem. Right, let's beam that guy out. I tried to place the bomb there to actually kill the guy on the way past, but it didn't work. I was trying to be I was trying to be clever. I was trying to be a bit crafty and it didn't work out. Ah uh, well, it's FDL. <laughs> one in a hundred games you might win. Or if you're good, you might win one in one, but uh, you know. I just tried tried different tactics and such. So do I want to assault? I think I'm just going to have to jump away, to be honest with you. I can't actually defeat them really now. Not with two Mantis men. Oh, now one half power. This is going from bad to worse. What? Rep this guy called the call is Repungent. What? And the weapons. I don't know why I've done that, because I can't really assault them. And these are a rock cruiser as well. So let me put some points into that so we actually get some... Yeah, let's get some points into my teleport. We'll have a bit of a recce, shall we? So we're going to teleport over... And, yep, that's a rock guy. And we can actually kite them, though, and just keep running like this. And it really annoys them. Because <laughs> they, can't, they can't catch up to us. <laughs> and you just cause little bits of damage. And just keep doing it this way. Obviously, you, won't, you need to actually, you know, stay there to destroy the things. But I'm basically going to do this until I can teleport out like so. Like that. I could use the ion weapons and just keep, say, I don't know. Targeting the... Uh, let's turn... We need to turn something off. Let's turn that off. We need to start spooling the drive up. We, uh... Yeah, it would be a good idea to... You know, just, like, attack that area. Keep attacking the O2 or something with the S-bomb button there. Whatever. We could, we could take us forever. Hmm. Right, so... Still charging. It's taking ages to charge. Let's turn off the O2. Actually, no, I'll turn off the teleporter and just charge it a bit faster. I mean, they're not going to take us out. I don't think, because they've got the same problem as we do. They don't. They only have half the power, so at the moment they're only firing the ion. So it's a sort of stalemate. If I kept the little blast laser, I might have been able to take them out, but uh, it would take too many bombs, and it's sort of not worth it, because I'd have to use the bomb to take out the shields, and then use the little blast laser, which was only one damage anyway, to shoot these things, or blast laser, or pulse laser, whatever it was. Anyway, let's just jump away. I'm going to... Do you know what? I'm just going to go at the exit and get the hell out of dodge. This system's garbage. It's horrible. So we're just going to continue, jump, next sector... NG Homeworlds because it's nice and friendly. Actually, it's full of Mantis men, I believe, the NG Homeworlds. Anyway, let's have a bit of a scout, bit of a recce. Let's go to the place where we're going to get most little sort of lines and jump paths. So let's have a quick assist on this. Oh, this is going to be interesting. They've assaulted me in my... Hang on, this is interesting. They've assaulted my... My medical bay. Right, I'll just turn the medical bay on and become invulnerable then, so I don't know what they're doing. If the S-bomb was charged up faster, which I'm going to put this guy over there, we should be able to destroy their teleporting. Hang on, wait, I don't need to now because they're dead. I've just killed them anyway, cool. Right, let's target their medical bay. Their medical bay is destroyed and I'll teleport over there and see what we've got. Ah, they've got two mantis. Right, cool, I can't handle that. I'm just going to have to keep running now because that is instant death, practically. Versing two mantis, you just can't do it. So I'm just going to have to keep <laughs> just running back and forward, back and forward. Because I haven't got two mantis, this is problematic. I just can't take them out here. Although they can't take me out, so mm, there we go. We will beam back. Hang on, once I'm inside there, beam back. And we'll go inside there. I also can't really attack either because, well, what would my, what would my option be, really? What would my option be? Well, what, send an NG across? Because NGs are so good at assaulting. Anyway, there's a store. I'm going to go back over a bit. Hopefully get at least a couple bit more, a couple more scrap. And then... See what we can get. Uh, there's not scrap there. I've just got a quest marker. I'm sort of skipping through it because I really need to 
get there. Search for the ship. There's five hull points. That's not something I wanted to see. Let's just go at the start. If there's a person, any crew member really will do now. I'm really after, just after crew. They do have crew. They do have crew, which is good. Let's sell our ion cannon because I do need it to then repair the ship. We also need... That's got, that guy's got a vision. That's not bad at all. What's my guy got? Claws and our pilot, our other NG pilot, has got an evasion not at max level. So we'll go to ship and oh, it's not going to matter. I need someone that can assault and human will have to do. So I'll just pick one of them. There we go. You are now my new assault team. Uh, welcome partners. <laughs> They're all there going, yeah, everything's fine. All right, let me get these three NG in the back here. And repair the hell out of that. This is, yeah, there you go. That was done quick, wasn't it? All right. Let's now jump to the quest. We're going to head towards the quest zone. And now we should be able to take ships out, but not as good as we uh, could be for. Ooh. When you uh, ask nearby station for aid, friendly programs use schematic for a drone. I've got an anti-ship drone. Fantastic. Right. Let's go to the quest. And I'm out of fuel as well. And it's a trap. Great. So what we're going to do, we're going to teleport over there. And we're going to see if we can take these guys out. I should be able to because is that guy? No, that guy is not the one with the, all of the all of the skills in shooting. Let's take out their weapons because I'm just sick, sick of getting shot. There we go. There's their weapons gone. Everyone return back to their positions. And there's one of them gone. And there's two of them gone. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is beam the guys back. Like so, and we'll put them in the med bay, and then we will wait. We'll use the S-bomb to take out their oxygen. Keep the pressure on. Keep the pressure on. Uh, FTL is delayed. We do need to probably just destroy it, actually, because otherwise they will probably run away. There's a lot of fire there as well. Let's teleport over to the oxygen. That's probably where they'll be. No, they're actually at the front. Oh, hang on. Let's just go here. Take them. Let's take this thing out. There's only one guy left, so once this guy's gone, we'll be okay. I should be able to. Oh no, I was going to say. I was going to say I should be able to take this out before the fire, but nope. That hurt. Right, but we have got a bit of fuel now. When I mean, we've only got one fuel, we are running out of. What's the stuff they use in Battlestar Galactica? Tilium. I think it's Tilium. That springs to mind. Mm, I don't know. Anyway, we've got another quest over there. How am I going to get there? There's got two. The quest there and a quest there. Well, I'll never get there. I'll just, I'm going to have to pick one because I'll never get the one and then back to the other. And we're out of fuel again as well, but we, we are in combat, which is, you know, it's not a good thing because that's a Mantis ship. What I'm going to do then, I'm going to wait. I'm going to probably fire where I think there's going to be someone, and I reckon they're going to be there. Right, there we go. That's been fired there. And we're going to teleport on board, and we should be able to take this guy out pretty fast. Looks like they're missing with some of these, but not all. Let's see if we can repair that. There's one of their crew down. This guy should be down quite sharpish. Let's take their weapons out because it's starting to hurt now. I'm not having a good feeling about this run, to be honest with you. I'm not really having a good feeling about it. We were doing all right, and then it's sort of going downhill. We've managed to take them out. Let's beam them guys back on board the ship and we will heal them up. 137 our total scrap is. There is no fuel. So what I'm going to have to do, I'm going to use my I'm going to use my scrap to probably increase some power and the medical bit. There we go. I should also increase the teleport which I've done as well actually. Let's wait. See what we get. So we've got our warning beacon on. Uh, unable to locate your ship's signature. So, ah, a merchant has come along and is saying, friendly trade, four fuel for one drone part. Gladly trade. Thank you very much, mate. I am out of here. <laughs> Getting the hell out of Dodge. Let's have a bit of a chat. And it's a rebel ship and they're charging the FTL. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to target the front of their boat. And soon as they... As soon as that bomb fires or lands there, I'm going to jump in and then take them out because this will take their FTL out and bang, jump across and then just, you know, just got inside the jab, take them out. That, is that another person? Ah, oh, shit, I know what they're going to do. They're going to try and heal themselves. Okay, that's fine. What I'm going to do, do that. <laughs> so that's them taken out. They've got a med bay, no longer. So their FTL is delayed. They have 
not enough weapons to actually do anything against my ship. They've only got two little pulse lasers. And I should be able to take them out without getting killed. Oh, that was so close. That was one more hit about than getting taken out there. Oh, live, just living life on the edge with these guys. Anyway, there's a star over there. There's a star back there. I have enough for one more jump. I could go there, then there, then there. We will see. I do really need to repair the ship because it's... Actually, no, it's not too bad. We've only lost five or six. Hull. One, two, three, four, five. Five or six there, like, hull points. So that's okay. Anyway, we're going to jump to that location. And then hopefully to the star, then hopefully to the exit. But we'll see. We'll have to gauge to see where that line is going to be. There's nothing there. Yes, we should be able to get the star and then back before the rebel fleet gets here. Fantastic. Hmm. So, backup DNA, that would be quite good if we did actually have a, well, some sort of... Backup DNA is good for if you have a clone bay. That's very good, the reconstructive teleport. Fully healed upon teleportation, that's very, very good. What have they got? They've also got a drone control bay, they've got a mind control. Oh, mind control is so good as well. I'm thinking mind control. See... What I like to do sometimes is use the reconstructive teleport with a clone bear, because I can just keep teleporting them back and forward if the diet doesn't matter, because they, you know, they basically could be, could be just spawn them up and then bring them in. However, I think what might be an option is to use the mind control, assault with what I've got at full health, and then the mind control, one of the other guys, and then we've basically got three on their ship. So let's buy a mind control, and also I think it's one of the most interesting systems in the game. We're going to take some out of the medical bay, put it into that, and we're going to jump to the exit. Wow. Right, let us continue, and we've just got a defense drone. We're going to jump to the next sector. Abandoned sector or pirate control? Abandoned sounds interesting. Don't think I've ever been one of these. At least on memory... Isn't serving. I've also got no fuel as well, so I'm gonna have to wait just to see what happens. I should have bought some fuel at the station, but whatever. Freight arrives. Nothing happens. We're just gonna keep waiting here. This is problematic. Okay. <laughs> you wait either starvation or death. Your attention is drawn to a sea of debris drifting past. So we're gonna send an away team. So report. Uh, returns home, and we get three fuel. Can't argue with that. Let's just keep jumping. We've only got two. Right, let's just... What the hell is that? You've stumbled across a mining expedition. Unfortunately, the miners are Delanius. They've chosen your ship as their target. That's problematic because they're going to... Yeah, I know what that is. Okay, what they've done, right, because the game's very clever that way, is used a hacking system to hack my mind control system, which is then mind controlled my own crew member. I'm going to beam aboard and... Actually, I don't know. I'm going to use my S-bomb to take out the clone bear first. Then I'm going to have to beam aboard and see what I can do. So let's just do that. Bang, there's that taken out. However, the problem I have is that there won't be any oxygen on board, will there? No. And this is problematic. There's no oxygen on board at all. I thought that might be the case, but since I haven't got sensors, I don't know. Oh, God. Can I beam them back on board? I don't think it's going to happen. There we go. There's two of my guys gone. And that's a fire we've got in here. Let's just quickly go back, see if we can put that out. Target their S-bomb on their weapons. There we go. There's taken their... Has it taken the weapons out? It has taken the weapons out. Only one of them, though. Because that's been hacked, I can't get through the doors. They're now mind-controlling these guys to shoot each other. Oh, God, it's all gone wrong. Let's see if we can take out their... There we go. I've taken out the, I've taken out the, I've taken out the hacking rig. <laughs> right, everybody get back to position one. And I think we will see if we can jump away. <laughs> Come on, charge it up. It's charging. It's charging. This is problematic at best, this. Oh, God. Right. Just just, ju just jump. Just just run. Run to the store. Yeah, let's run to the store because it's safe and we can buy some fuel and hopefully keep going. So we're just going to fix all. We can't do that. I need to spend everything on fuel. Fix what we can and keep going. Good grief. I don't know what I can do now. I honestly don't know what I can do because I don't have any fuel and I don't have... Oh, sorry. I've hardly got any fuel. Hard, I've got no scrap. Got no assault team. And I've got no weapons. Yeah, I think we can pretty much call this one a bust, can't we? 
<laughs> I'm going to make a couple more jumps, but unless something really changes, I think we can call this pretty much a bust. Hmm. I jump to there. We're just going to have a bit of a run around the sector. This must be the new Lanius sector or something. Oh, God, that doesn't look... That looks pretty nasty. Yeah, so we're just going to have to pretty much charge everything. We can't even use the clone bay because there's nothing to clone. Uh, sorry, not clone bay, rather. We can't even use the... The mind control because the, it's a... It's a it's, it's not a ship we can do that with. There's nothing we can do about that. Let's just put someone in... The, well, let's just get them in there. Job done. Get them in the engine bay. Yeah, I mean, they sort of stalemate here. It's the immovable, immovable force versus the, um, sorry, the un unstop, what is it? Immovable force versus the unstoppable object? Something like that, I don't know. Either way, it's, it's sort of stalemate. They can't pen my shields. I don't have any weapons. Yeah. There's some disadvantages for doing the old assault trick. I could have bought some more weapons and things like that, but I, I like to do the whole assault thing. It just hasn't it just hasn't worked out. It hasn't worked out. Anyway, let's just keep running around the galaxy just to see what we have here. Intruders on... Oh, intruders on board. That's not good. They are taking control of the mind control bay, or they're shooting it. Let's get inside, and then we will take control of one of them, and we will get inside as well and see what we can do. But, um... I don't think this is going to go well, if I'm completely honest with you. I mean, I've got four people fighting here. I could just bomb the entire thing myself. Um, everybody escape. Everybody run away. Right, they're about to destroy it, so I'm going to bomb it myself. And they managed to run away before I could do that. I don't know what can... Maybe I've... Oh, there's one NG gone. I need to... Oh, God. Right, get in. Just hide in there. Hide inside the door bay. And... Right, right. Repair this. <laughs> Oh, God. If I repair... Good God. Right, stop, stop, stop. Right, take control of them. Get inside there. Right, and that, that, that fortifies the door. Then they're going to shoot each other. There we go. So what, they've killed each other. Excellent. Now, if I just wait here... Oh, God, they're trying to... Oh, they're shooting the door. They're trying to get in. Right, run. Run towards the medical bay. <laughs> um, I mean, they're just going to... They're just going to come back in. And take me out. Oh god, they've even destroyed they've destroyed everything now. Where they're running towards. They're running towards me. Right, now they're, now they're taking out the O2, I think. I quickly run back. Take control of the of the <laughs> Good grief. If I take control of that, there we go. That's the mind control bay. I can go down to where the shields are, because I think that's where they are. There. Mind control one of them, then run away! And then they're gonna shoot each other and keep fighting. There we go. I think I've managed to take control of the ship back. <laughs> How have I, I don't know how I managed to do that. That is a miracle. That is amazing. That is, that is, I mean, it's totally pointless, because what can I do now? I've got two crew. I've got nothing to assault with. I've got very little fuel. I'm on nearly half health. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to keep going until we get destroyed, to be honest with you, because this is just getting, this is getting more interesting by the second, actually. Mm. I just repair the boat. Who did I lose? I lost my pilot, I think. I don't know. Either way, we lost something. We need to get everybody... I might as well power that thing down and don't need it, do I? We'll get them in the medical bay. They can heal up. That was interesting, that. I've never thought of that tactic before. When someone beams on board, you can put someone inside the door control. Inside the sort of security room, or whatever it's called. Uh, you put someone in there. That's obviously, what, is, what is it called, actually? It is called the door system, yeah. I prefer to, more, more, I th I prefer to be a security station, but, you know... Put someone in there, use the mind control to get yourself out of a bit of a pickle. Mm, it's interesting. Right, let's see what we come across. We've only got three fuel left, which is, you know... Oh, God. Lanius, yep. Let's avoid the conflict and just run off, because I can't take... I, to be honest, I don't know why I'm going to continue going, unless I get something like a miracle. I don't know what I can do. I've just got some scrap, though. Leave the ships, Lanius stuff all over the place. That's my last fuel. Unless there's something that can give me fuel, this is going to be pretty much death. An anti-personnel drone. No fuel. I'm going to wait. There we go. I think they've caught up with me now. Oh god, they've even got a pulse Vulcan, Vulcan pulse laser, and that is the anti-ship batteries targeting me as well. So I can't even use the clone bear. Sorry, not the clone bear. The mind control bear. Because I can't see them. However, I'll use the bomb to give me line of sight, which then missed. So that's not good, is it? I've got no fuel. I'm pretty much going to have to win this fight or lose. That's what it's down to. Ow, that hurt. Um, 
I'm not I'm not even gonna repair it to be honest with you. I keep missing as well. There we go. This is that Vulcan laser firing. That Vulcan laser is absolutely deadly. Like that is probably the best weapon in the game in my experience. Apart from maybe the flak. Look at that. Have you seen how fast it fires? Yeah, this is this is TK and all this. This is totally gone. Look at my shields. I can't build them back up fast enough. That's gone. Yeah. What can I do? What can I say? I tried. I'm sorry, I did try. There's the ship gone. And we've broken into pieces. And it's still shooting me. You're still shooting the wreckage, why don't you? Let's have a look at our statistics there. Excalibur. Second. The second best I've ever done with that ship. No way. Sector 4? It's not bad. It's not bad, is it? I guess. No, it's actually terrible. Anyway, FTL. It, it's a bloody amazing game. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. And generic partings. Uh, I think I'm going to pour the rest of that stuff down the sink. It's shit.